up YouTube? It's your boy EP and I uh, just finished a uh, chest and bicep workout. Uh, I changed it up a little bit from the other uh, chest and bicep workout that you saw probably a month ago. Change it up a little bit. Um, so check it out. Um, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, train hard all day. That's, that's my model. No matter what you're doing, everything that you do, you want to go hard at it. Don't take nothing lightly. Alright? Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go ahead and get into this chest and bicep workout. I start off the chest portion of the workout with leverage chest press. Did about four sets of 10 to 12 reps. I warmed up with three warm up sets just to get the blood going into the muscles, just to get everything warmed up so we can get ready for those uh, heavy sets. I like this plate loaded machine because it forces you to squeeze which is going to push more blood into the muscle and it's going to make your muscle pump up and you need that then we jumped into the flat bench barbell press 4 sets 8 to 12 reps this is something that I normally don't do I'm used to doing the dumbbell flat bench press but I decided to throw these in there to hit the middle of the chest. And they felt pretty good today. I got 275 on the bar right here. I think I got that for about, uh, I want to say between 10, 12 reps. And then I put uh, 295 on the bar. I think I got that for about 7, maybe 8 reps. Felt kind of good despite not doing these in a while. So I, I think I felt pretty good about uh, doing bench press again. Then we jumped into incline dumbbell press. Three to three sets, eight to twelve reps. Right here, I got the 120 pound dumbbells. Got 10 somewhat easy reps. The last few reps were not easy at all, but I was determined to get between 8 and 12, and I got 10 reps for this one. Then I said, What the hey, let's go up, see what we can get with these 130s, and I uh, end up only getting 7 reps. So I had to drop the weight and uh, finish my rep range. Then I jumped into the decline bench press, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. By this time, the chest is pretty much beat up, but you have no choice but push through it. It's all about training hard and it's all about getting those reps in. Then we go into cable flies. Did three sets to failure. And I think this set right here is the last set that I recorded. As you can tell I don't have every set in this video because the video will probably be like 20, 30 minutes long and we don't want that. I finished the chest portion of the workout with 50 hand release push ups. Learned this from the CrossFit West Covina guys out there. This uh, prevents you from just going fast through a push up and not actually getting that pump and that burn in there. I like these. And believe me, they do burn. Now we go into the bicep portion of the workout. I started off with bicep curls, 3 set to 12, like I said, everything is simple for me, if 
you don't know what a bicep curl is, why don't you go Google that? But you can also just sit here and look, and I'm showing you exactly what it is. Then I jump to the incline dumbbell curls, three sets of ten each arm. So all together, you're doing 20 reps for all the people that don't know how to add stuff up. This right here. Kind of forces you to, to do a strict form, and it, it hits that bicep real good. It's a real burner too. Then we jump into some alternating hammer curls 3 set to 20 and that's 10 for each arm for all you guys that don't know how to add out there this not only works the outside of the bicep but it also works the forearm which is pretty much killing two birds with one stone so this concludes the chest and bicep workout hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like the shirt I got on Go ahead and go to liftfitapparel.com and pick one up. And I'm out.